Oh my gosh, I am back in the van. Oh, I am so excited. It's been such a long time since I've been back in Peggy. And we're going out in her in the dead of winter today. But we have a few errands to run in the van. And we're actually driving all the way to Sheffield because we found someone online who can take a look at her and do some camper van bits because we want to change a few things in this van. And me and Dean are not handy whatsoever. We have like zero DIY skills. We found this guy called Liam Black who has a YouTube channel. And he is going to be taking a look at the van. But it is like two hours away from us near the peak district so we thought why don't we take peggy out and sleep overnight it's the dead of winter we don't have a diesel heater plumbed in we actually do have a diesel heater but it's not linked to our batteries properly so that's one task that we're going to ask liam to see if he can do because what we use is a solar generator so we use this power bank we didn't want to get all technical buying all different lithium batteries and people P M T charge controls and stuff so what we did was we made it really simple and just use a solar generator that plugs into our solar panel so i don't know how we're going to get on today i don't think it's meant to be too too cold without a diesel heater it might be a bit cold but we are going out in peggy i've missed this so much and if you like van life content watch this space because we are hopefully taking pegster out on lots of trips this year i'm actually going to be moving in for quite a long time and taking her over to europe that's the goal anyway so that's why we're actually going to meet liam to see little bits around the van that we need to change this oven right here we don't use this it's not even plumbed in it's a second hand oven that i sprayed similar to this that used to belong in a caravan i sprayed it with this metal paint you can actually see the original color where it's chipped off there uh, and I, we also had this oven thinking we were going to use it and it's not even plumbed into the gas line we're thinking changing that for a fridge we've got like a cool box which isn't the best as you can see this is the diesel heater but it's not like plugged into anything and this is our solar generator that we currently use to power everything in the van so we are going to be heading out I'm going to the Peak District, which is one of my favourite places ever. I've actually done a few vlogs on the Peak District, trying to find a wild camping spot somewhere, which always freaks me out a little bit because I'm always scared we're going to get moved on because we did get moved on one time. Hopefully find somewhere and park for night. It shouldn't be too busy because it's winter, so I'm hoping it's going to be okay. And then hopefully surviving the night without a diesel heater. I'm really looking forward to it, actually. I have missed Peggy so, so, so much. Also, if you you guys want to see a van tour uh let me know in the comments below and i'll do a van tour of this van before it kind of gets renovated and stuff and then i'll do another one afterwards but let's head off to the peak district shall we all right we have about an hour and 45 minute drive and i have to get used to driving this van all over again i hope like literally the brakes and stuff are like different to like my cars and I need to remember like where it is like then I got like my foot caught between the brake and the pedal one thing I am really glad that we got done is the blowers in this van so one our fuel gauge was broke so it wouldn't like it wouldn't show us how much fuel we had we finally got that fixed that cost the bomb it was like 300 and some quid and then the blowers went in this van so in the summer when we had like a heat wave and stuff we literally had no cold air or hot air in the winter and now we we finally got it fixed and now we finally have hot air in the winter blowing into the cabin because it was freezing if we went out in like march or whatever or like spring when it's a little bit colder oh my god it was so cold we finally got it fixed so now we've got hot and cold air Connection, Bluetooth connection success. Well, that's annoying. Google said it was going to take us on a shortcut and save 15 minutes, and it took us to a traffic jam. No, you've just skipped all the tra loads of traffic. Was well, the more traffic? Oh, yeah, on the motorway. We're on the side. Yeah, but the thing is, Google will be telling everyone to do that. So now this is a traffic jam, and this is a traffic jam. We're right next to the motorway, just there. 
and then we're on like off the side of the motorway and it was like say 15 minutes by going this route and now there's a traffic jam on this road as well because it's probably telling everyone to do that we're now totally off route and following the diversion signs because where it was taking us back onto the a1m the road was closed <laughs> so it said save 15 minutes and it's probably added 15 minutes onto our journey if not more we're driving through this little town called minskip which looks adorable by the way And there is a sick looking, look at this camper van. How nice is that, what the heck? Oh, all right, we just spoke to that Liam. He was super, super nice. I'll leave his channel uh, below. He knows a lot about vans. He does like van build outs and things. It's freezing cold outside. I'm so underdressed. I don't know why. Oh, tights and a skirt. Um, but anyway, we've never been to Sheffield before, like the city centre. So I think we're actually gonna explore Sheffield city centre maybe find a park and ride because sometimes it's hard to get the van in a city and um, we'll have a look we spoke about a few different things for the van like getting a fridge and stuff and because we're only in it part time and not full time the batteries and the power that we actually need to use to run like a fridge it just will end up costing a fortune and i think as well i thought oh well i'll get like a house fridge instead of a 12 volt fridge uh, because 12 volt fridge which are like lower power fridges for vans are so expensive and i just don't think it's really worth the investment for this van we've done without a fridge every time we've been out in the van we've used a cool box and to be honest it actually works quite well it does use a lot of power but we just turn it on and off and pretty much does the trick but one thing we do definitely need is we need a diesel here oh my gosh i just got so shook up then how bad was that dean i must have angels looking over me or something because i was driving and someone just pulled out right in front of me and did i don't know how they didn't see a massive van coming and they just pulled out and i had to slam my brakes on like full slam them and i didn't think we were going to stop in time because this van obviously is really like big and heavy and takes a lot to stop and we were like literally we must have been about a millimeter off smashing into them i don't know how we didn't smash into them honestly dean's had a bit of a nightmare because when we were driving the phone dropped down and it slid like right underneath something <laughs> we have no idea where it's gone anyway we've had to park in the co-op car park in the center of bakewell normally there's like a path just over like this bridge with a lock and we normally park there for free and we just walk into Bakewell uh, but there's been flooding the river's flooded so the footpath is closed I'm sure the Peak District is like quite prone to flooding I remember it being on the news before but yeah we're gonna go into Bakewell get something to eat it's quite miserable outside I don't know why on earth I thought it was a good idea to wear tights <laughs> Ta -da! let's head off and get something to eat into Bakewell and then we need to find a camping spot tonight we're literally just parked in the co-op <gasps> well, there's the co-op right there so at least we'll be able to get our food and stuff but now we're gonna head into Bakewell it's actually freezing it was really nice earlier on it was like super sunny crisp and now it's like blowing a gale raining never mind that's winter van life for you am I right <laughs> in the charity shop and Dean's buying some more socks for his feet because he's too cold. It's such a contrast coming here in winter versus summer because normally these little side streets and everything are absolutely flooded with people. Last time we were here we sat outside here and it was packed. Oh let's go this way. But look there's no one, no one on the streets at all. Crazy. Oh, there's Willow and Time. This is a little small business. Must have a bigger shop now. And I've got a candle for this in my van. Bakewell candle. I'll be lighting that later tonight. Look how cute this shop window is. Look how cute that is. We've just got back from Austria, but they have an Austrian shop here where you can get sausages that are imported. We're having a look in this Bloomers Bakewell. It's got original Bakewell tarts in here. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, there we go, Bakewell tarts. Mm. 
Ooh, orange <coughs> and whiskey marmalade. Interesting. It's like a little cottage and they've got all the traditional tarts and stuff. And then Bakewell puddings as well. This is what makes Bakewell famous. The Bakewell tarts and Bakewell puddings. It's like marzipan, it's so nice. This apparently is the old original Bakewell pudding shop. Look how old these windows are. Look at all the pastries and the puddings and stuff in the window. Bakewell vodka? What are these? Derbyshire oat cakes. Look how big they are. Whoa, they're really dense and starchy. It's got a restaurant upstairs, so I think we're, if we're gonna go upstairs. Last time we were here, it was absolutely booming. These are all famous people who've been here. It looks nice and, nice and empty today. Okay. Right. It's so cute in here, it's super old building. All the rafters and the ceiling and stuff is so pretty. It's a nice place to come and apparently it's the original Bakewell pudding shop. Look how cute it is in here. I love the ceilings. I'd love like a house with this much character. Our food has come, we got halloumi fries and we got soup. <laughs> Alright, that was a really nice um, shop and break. We had our halloumi. Oh, that's going to blow up. Um, and now I think we're actually going to head back to the van. As you can see, it's getting dark and we need to find a spot to sleep for the night. But I'm a little worried because there's been flooding warnings. First of all, we need to go back to the co-op just before uh, we get back in the van because we haven't got any water because I haven't cleaned out the water jug for this year and I like to like put saline solution in, clean it all out, give it a deep clean and we haven't done that so we need some water so we're gonna get some bottles from the co-op then we're gonna get a parking spot and get cozy for the night maybe watch a film and yeah it should be nice actually it's gonna rain all night uh, it's been kind of stormy as well but it's gonna rain all night and it's really cozy in the van when it's raining all night also I love it here because it's it's literally so scenic and pretty. My hat's gonna blow off. This hat is too big. <laughs> Look at this. Anyway, let's go back to the van and get cozy, shall we? Oh. Right. Oh. Don't just bash me. I'm gonna have to shut this door because some little bit of the Alright, right, let's go. So I was getting a little worried because basically where we are in the Peak District there's been issues for flood warnings and there's a an article online saying a van got stuck just about 20 minutes down the road from here in some water so my I think our best bet is to go up high into the peaks I found somewhere on park for night so I'm gonna head off there and yeah hopefully it should be fine because it's high up and hopefully we don't like get stuck up there and all the roads don't get flooded also it was a really really cute village as we uh, like drove through so it was when we were driving through to Bakewell which I've never been before it was, like called Hart something I can't remember what it was called now so I thought that would be really really cute to go tomorrow it's not the best going when it's super dark but hopefully we'll get nice views in the connection. morning anyone coming? Can I go? Oh, it's really hard to see. I need to turn the lights on. Alright, we've got our camping spot for the night. Dean is pretty cold. I'm alright actually. I've got in my PJs, I've got like a jogger set on. Um, obviously we don't have a diesel here and it's currently about 5 degrees I think. Uh, so I'm going to heat up the van by making our tea for the night. There's water in there. It's probably gross water. Uh, but I'm going to make some lamb. Uh, the view looks so pretty. I can't wait to see it in the morning because it looks so so pretty out there. And the stars look amazing. It's so clear. It's actually going to uh, rain tonight. So I'm guessing that the clouds will come, but let's make a lamb dinner and hopefully uh, having the heat on will warm up the van a little bit. I need to remember where everything is. Yeah. 
Turn the camera on. I can't remember how we do it. We decided to put the bed up and get all cosy. I'm currently just boiling the kettle. I'm actually boiling the kettle for the pots first and clearing out because there's a little bit of water left in there, which is a bit gross. So I'm boiling it out. I'm going to tip it in to wash the pots and then make myself a cosy cup of tea. Let's put the bed up. And then just lay that on the floor. Oh, the kettle. We've got a problem. We think the wood has expanded through the cold. Although we got it in, but it's really, really tight and it's not normally this tight. Um, oh, look how tight that is. You look like a burrito. Just like, <laughs> just like that. We have our bed. Look how cozy that looks. But look what I've just done to my fairy lights. I've just broke them. I have a fairy light, like a USB extender and I forgot to plug it in and it goes like here so the padding of the sofa like has broke it. So we normally turn off these lights and have all the fairy lights twinkle in but I'm going to have to buy some more. Look how cozy the van is. This is a super king bed. Dini looks so cozy I can't wait to get in. I'm going to get in and watch a film and make myself a cup of tea. It's so loud. Oh, look at that hot, steamy cup of tea. Mm, I'm gonna have this hot, steaming cup of tea. Oh, looks so nice. And we're gonna chill out for the rest of the night in the van. Hopefully get a good night's sleep and warm ourselves up, uh, watch some YouTube, and then I'll see you in the morning where we'll hopefully be going for breakfast in the little village near here, which looks really cute. And then we'll be probably heading back home. I'll see you bright and early in the morning. Oh. Morning. Oh, I don't want to get out of bed. It's cold. Oh, I don't care. Good morning, guys. It is cold outside we must have warmed the van up though because it's it's still cold in here but it's not like too too bad and under the quilt it's nice and warm so i was really i was actually warm inside the quilt last night oh my god there's like a stream of water pouring out like a holy moly it looks like a river i hope we can get out the road's all flooded. The rain and storm started about 12 o'clock and it was so loud. The van was shaking, it was torrential pouring and it woke me up a couple of times in the night. I woke up about 4am and I was like, we're gonna have to drive home before this gets any worse. So at the moment, there's like a pathway that you normally walk on and it's turned into like a river. Oh, I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but the road is flooded. Oh my God, there's just so much water coming out. Whoa, look at that. So this is just like a walkway. It's turned into like a river. Oh, oh my God, it's cold. Oh, hurry, Dean. Oh, we should be able to get out, though, I think. Oh my God. Oh, it's so cold. All right, let's see if we can get out. The road ahead looks pretty flooded. My first van life experience in the winter. And to be honest, I think we have literally picked 
the worst weather. It would be okay if it was like snowy, crisp, or even just like a winter's day where it's cold outside, but it's crisp and sunny and gorgeous. But no, this is England and it's literally tanking down with rain. It was so windy. We literally picked like the worst day, I think, because there's been storms in England. But Dean was saying, oh, I can't get the handbrake off. Why have I done it so tight? I've got this handbrake extender thing Probably here. Yeah, I can't get it off. The views are pretty good around here though. We're in like a valley and the sheep and uh, beautiful hills, but it's really misty and rainy. Let's go. Oh, it's a really pretty view though. Oh, rain doesn't stop. This road will be totally flooded. But look how nice the view is though. We've got a little sheepies over there. Can you see? There's like rivers and streams, or I don't even know if they're meant to be rivers or streams, but it looks incredible. There was one we just passed there when we went through a forest, and it was like gushing down the mountain, and it looked so pretty. in the van we took her out in the van before before it was even kitted out and she like rolled in sheep's poo and everything it was a disaster anyway we didn't bother putting our bed away um oh, what is it we didn't bother putting the bed away we just got in the car and drove actually the drive was absolutely fine it was just that little bit that was flooded and it's actually a really sunny beautiful winter's day now which would have been perfect but in the peak district it's still really stormy and windy but back home nice sunny crisp winter's day i feel like those days i can handle in van life but the stormy windy rain and muds and everything that's when it gets really difficult i feel like anyway i hope you enjoyed this van vlog if you did like it and you want to see more definitely don't forget to subscribe because we will be taking peggy and prepping her for some exciting trips and hopefully finally taking her to europe which i've been saying that i'm going to do for a long time but we're hoping april if we get the diesel heater sorted out we're hoping april maybe go to france maybe switzerland who knows it'll be the first time driving in a different country and we've got an italian road trip planned not in peggy but it'll still be really fun i'll see you all very freaking soon Right then, thanks so much for watching. I love you. <laughs> Goodbye.